Brandy from MilitarySpot.com and today I'm going to talk about the ASVAB. First off, ASVAB stands for Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery. Everyone who joins the military must take this test. Now some of you may have already taken this in high school and if so, this all may sound familiar, but if you haven't, let me tell you a little bit about it. It's a multiple choice test that helps you to better understand your strengths. It is not an IQ test, but it does help the Army identify with what job areas would be best for you. The test will consist of 10 short tests to complete during three hours. The 10 test subjects are General Science, which basically covers the material, material you learned in junior and senior high school science classes. Arithmetic Reasoning, which are your basic math problems. Word Knowledge, this will test your ability to understand the meaning of words through synonyms. Paragraph Comprehension. This consists of reading paragraphs that vary in length from one paragraph to several. You will be asked questions based on the paragraphs that you read. Numerical Operations. This contains simple two-number computations in addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Coding Speed. This portion tests a person's ability to quickly find a specific number amongst rows of other numbers. Auto and Shop Information. This covers the material taught in automobile mechanics and in shop class. Mathematics knowledge, which measures general math that you've learned in high school, including algebra and some basic geometry. Mechanical comprehension. This measures your understanding of mechanical and physical principles. Most questions will use drawings to illustrate specific principles. Electronics, which deals with electricity, radio principles, and electronics. Now this all may seem intimidating or a little overwhelming, but don't worry, no one passes or fails the ASVAB. This is just to see where your strengths lie and will also help the Army place you in a job that will fit you best. However, to be considered for enlistment in the Army, you will need to score at least a 31. I hope I've been able to answer some questions you had pertaining to the ASVAB portion of joining the Army. For additional information, please visit our website at MilitarySpot.com.